Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a new accessory that I just picked up to help me record my videos. Um, for the most part, I use my iPhone 6 Plus to record the majority of my videos, especially the tabletop ones that I do. And um, I use that because it's very easy. It has a pretty decent camera and sound, uh, but I can go ahead and edit the video right on the phone and upload it directly to YouTube from the phone itself. So it's just that much easier. Now, for the longest time, I've been using this as my way of attaching the cell phone onto a tripod. And basically this is just a cheap plastic attachment. Uh, it's got a spring that allows you to move this piece up to accommodate to different size phones and things like that. But I find that with my iPhone 6 Plus in a case, I'm already stretching it to the limit that this is gonna go. So I'm always worried that this is gonna snap one day um, and my phone's gonna fall and break or something like that. So I'm always on the lookout for something different. And I was at my local Apple store today and I saw this. This is the Psychic 360 Plus by a company called Me Photo, And basically what this is, it's a pretty sturdy uh, cell phone mount for your tripod. Now I wanna start off by saying that this is $40 at the Apple Store, and I know that that's uh, a little bit more than what the majority of people would expect to pay for something like this. But if you do use your phone to record your videos, whether it's stationary like this, or you're moving around and things like that, um, this is a great investment to hold your phone very securely. So I would definitely recommend picking it up. Now this is the box that it comes in and it is uh, made out of titanium. Now it does state that it will hold uh, an iPhone 6 Plus, an iPhone 6, an iPhone 5S, and an iPhone 4S. But in playing around with it, I did find that um, if you have other type of phones like Galaxies and things like that, it'll probably still hold those. Uh, the jaws open up nice and wide. So. I was lucky enough that they had an open one uh, at my local Apple store, so I was able to play around with it and uh, fit my phone in it. So if you guys are interested, just drop by the store. Maybe they'll have an open one and you can test your phone out and see if it works if it's not an iPhone. So on the other side of the box, you have a little bit of a diagram that explains um, how this works, how to move it around and things like that. And then in the back, you just have a color picture of it already attached to a tripod. And again, $39.95, $40 at your local Apple store. So again, if that is a little bit more, I would just, um, you know, if you are using your phone, I would still recommend picking it up. Uh, if you can't do it right now, maybe save up for it because uh, it will give you peace of mind. Your phone is going to be nice and secure. It's open, so if you still need to charge the phone while it's on the um, uh, on the actual tripod and on the mount, then you can still do that. Uh, so you know, you know, just keep that in mind. So let me go ahead and open up the box so you guys can see what's inside. All right. So you have two items. The first one is obviously the mount. Here it is. And the next one is an extra instruction manual here. Now, this comes in a couple of different languages, so it is very, very thick. And I almost wish they would have saved the paper and not done this because one, it's pretty self-explanatory how to use um, the mount. And then two, you have on the side of the box, you have those, um, uh, you know, the different um, little figurines that'll show you, you know, how to do it. So, you know, this is a little bit of an overkill with this really thick manual. So it is what it is, so there it is. Here is the mount itself. Again, it is made out of titanium and it feels very, very sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna bend or break or anything like that. On the bottom, you have a couple of different mounting holes. So depending on what size um, uh, screw you use for your uh, tripod, you know it, uh, it will accommodate uh, the larger ones or the smaller ones there. And then you have a couple more holes in the back here. Now this is um, a little bit of a crank here, so when you turn that, it's gonna loosen this joint right here. So it's gonna allow you to basically pivot this uh, in a couple of different directions. So vertical, horizontal, uh, you wanna come all the way flat like this. So it gives you a lot of different angles, which is really nice. And then you could just turn it back and it'll lock it back into place. And then you have on the top and the bottom, you have these two cranks. And what they do is when you crank them, it'll actually loosen this jaw right here. They are independent, which is nice. There's no springs or anything like that. So um, you could set one to a specific size and then just move the other one you know, up and down, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing. That way it's gonna be easier, just a couple turns and I'll be able to put my phone in and out. Now the beauty of this is that it will accommodate different size uh, devices. So that's what I was talking about. So if you have other things besides an iPhone or if you switch out the case or something like that, uh, you don't have to you know, get a whole new mount. This will accommodate to whatever it is that you're using. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and show you guys how this attaches to the tripod that I use uh, to record the majority of my videos. So let me um, move this tripod back. Give me a little bit of room here. All right, 
There we go. And this is the tripod that I use to record the majority of my videos here in my garage. And basically it is the Manfrotto compact action tripod. It has uh, this little wheel right here, which um, you rotate and it allows you to move this little kind of pistol grip around to, uh, you know, to frame your shot and stuff like that. And then once you're there, you can just uh, turn it and it locks it into place. Now, normally with uh, this other attachment, once I had it on there, I had to move uh, the actual uh, top of the tripod down if I wanted to shoot uh, from higher up or anything like that. Now, because uh, the Sidekick 360 Plus has the ability to go ahead and rotate um, right on it, I can leave this flat and not have to worry about that. So this is a little attachment that you would screw onto the bottom of the 360 here. So I'll go ahead and put it there. All right, there it is. And then this uh, just sits in here like that. And then you clamp it down and there it is. It is nice and secure. Let me go ahead and pan up so you guys can see this now. All right, so now I have this nice and level on the tripod. So all I have to do is go ahead and unclamp that and then I can just move this around instead of having to move the whole tripod. So if I wanna film directly down or if I wanna pan back up or anything like that, I'm able to do it directly from the mount here. Now I have my iPod touch here because I am recording on my iPhone. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how that looks. Basically, you just um, unscrew it there, give it enough clearance, put it inside and then clamp it down and that is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. Let me turn on the camera. I'm doing this behind the viewfinder. I'll set it to video. So as you guys can see here, now I'm recording straight ahead, but if I wanted to go ahead and pan it down, all I have to do is loosen it up. And then now I can pan down directly onto the table and record what it is that I need to record and I'm good to go. So again, um, this is, I think a great option if you are using uh, either a cell phone or as you guys can see here, I'm using an iPod Touch uh, to record your videos um, because it is gonna be very sturdy. This isn't going anywhere. Uh, it gives you a lot of different options. So if I wanna go ahead and turn this this way vertically, I can do that. Uh, you know, I can come down you know, different angles and whatnot and just turn it and now it's locked in place. It's not going to move. It's not going to go around anywhere. I can actually pick up the tripod and move around with it. So if you want to put it like on a selfie stick or if you want to put it on a monopod or something like that, it'll still um, keep your device, whether it's a cell phone or an iPod touch or something like that, very secure and it's not going to go anywhere. So there it is. That is the Psychic 360 Plus from Me Photo. Again, it's available at your local Apple stores for $39.95. So if you guys are interested, I definitely recommend that you go check one out. And if you guys are looking for something like that, I would recommend picking it up. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.